I think maybe I, I missed this little section here when I walked up. The ancient shoe culture, this is Course of Discovery. Ancient shoe culture caught the world's attention late 20s of the last century. Group exquisite jade and stone artifacts excavated at Sun Sunchwing Dui in the following more than half a century since then. Archaeologists at Sichuan have followed the footprints of their predecessors and stuck to the archaeological investigation in the locality. Their untiring efforts eventually yielded plentiful fruits in the mid and late 1980s from the theory of independent development of Ba Shu culture to the proposition of Guangshan culture and from the concept of Sang Shuing Dui culture being established in the academic circles to the material affirmation of the ancient culture, ancient city, and ancient state of Sang Shuing Dui. This long course has witnessed the exact journey of heart experienced by several generations of archaeologists in their unceasing investigations investigative endeavors. In the spring of 29, a farmer named Yan Dao Cheng, when digging a channel beside his house for installing watermill, unexpectedly dug out a secret that had been buried beneath the earth for thousands of years, a big pile of jade and stone artifacts with many different shapes and styles. Since then, a series of wondrous stories began springing out from the locality. The annals of Hanzhou kept in the reigns of Jia Qing and Tongji in the Qing dynasty has records concerning the three stars accompanying the moon and three stars accompanying the moon heap, namely Sang Shuing Dui in Chinese. Family portrait of Yan Dao Cheng, the ditch beside the family residence of the Yan family where the jade and stone artifacts were first excavated. Artifacts excavated 1929. 34, site at Yuliang Wan. Professor D.C. Graham, Museum of the West China Union University. Workers, 34. Union University. Nineteen fifty sixties archaeological researchers of Sichuan province conducted a number of investigations and excavations of the remains of Sang Chung Di. Middle nineteen seventies, they identified a large amount of cultural layers and artifacts in the trenching site of a local brick plant. Since nineteen eighty, unified names have been assigned to all relics belonging to the name belonging to the relic the same relic community, San Chung Dui ruins. Excavation sixty three. Surveying the residents of the Yan family. Mr. Feng, Han Ji, famous archaeologist, 63. 63. Plant workers, local bricks. You... Uh, Yu Lian Wan, Liang Wan, Yu Liang Wan, cradle of San Shuang Di civilization. 1980 excavation work at San Shuang Dui scored even more achievements. 1982, the San Shuang Dui ruins was listed as a major archaeological excavation site by the State Cultural Relics Bureau, and a special fund was allocated according to this regard. Since then, the cultural regulatory authorities of Sichuan Province and Guanghong County have undertaken joint efforts to carry comprehensive investigations at San Shuang Dui and set out the protection zone. Full force investigation, 80 to 86. Aerial photography. Leading State Cultural Relic Bureau conducting inspection. Joint investigation. Provincial local authorities. I guess that's it now. I want to go through and take some photos.